Hello everyone, Cindy Salomon here for a brand new vlog here on Game Show Gumbo. We got massive, massive news uh, that dropped a couple of days ago. Uh, according to Deadline, um, we are going to have two new game shows debut, maybe in the fall. On CW, no less. And those two shows are Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit. Now this is something that the CW has been wanting to do for a while. Uh, according to the Deadline article, which I have right here, um, their reality chief, uh, Heather Olander, uh, when she was talking to Deadline last year, said she wanted to launch a game show of some IP along with it. And with an IP like uh, Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit, those are familiar IPs. A lot of people have played those board games. And game show fans know that both of these IPs have some quality attached to it. And this would be the aired third go, no, fourth go around for Scrabble, as the original was 1984 to 1990 on NBC, had a brief revival in 93, um, got brought back in 2011 as Scrabble Showdown with a different format, uh, and that was done on the hub, now Discovery Family. And had a great amount of producers behind that by using a lot of Scrabble uh, variants, like Scrabble Flash, on that. And for those uh, who like the original and the clues and, any, and everything like that, that's what the final round was for in order to get to 100 points and uh, win the trip on that version. Trivial Pursuit's uh, television exploits, not as successful. It did have a solid 130-episode uh, run on the Family Channel in 93 and lasted in reruns until, like, 95. Then it had an ESPN variant in 2004, which wasn't any good. And then you had a one-year revival of Trivial Pursuit America Plays, uh, which was done by Fremantle, Denmark Mercury, Wheeler Sussman Productions, um, with Christopher Knight as host. Um, while it had a inventive uh, format, it just never really took off. And plus, the late 2000s were kind of like a dead period for game shows anyways after the Writers Guild strike, whether it be in syndication or on national television. Because a lot of them just got wiped off. Now, right now, they've been ordered, but that means they're currently in development. And we don't know what any of the format is going to be. I'd like to assume Trivial Pursuit will have some semblance to the board game. Um, you know, answering fairly ranging topics and comes to questions. I don't know if you're going to fill a pot. You'll probably fill a pie or something like that. Um... And with the way the CW is scheduled, it will probably be a half hour. I imagine both these shows are going to be a half hour. And then they'll probably have either a drama at the 9 o'clock. This will probably be for the 8 o'clock hour. And then the 9 o'clock hour will be some sort of drama or something like that. Or they'll just pair it up with Penn and Teller's Fool Us, depending if that show gets renewed. Another thing to talk about when it comes to this is the hosts. Scrabble is completely up in the air. Trivial Pursuit has has kind of had its name attached to LeVar Burton. Like, if you remember when he had that ill-fated uh, hosting tryout where Mike Richards uh, kind of screwed him over and screwed almost all of them over, um, with the exception of Mayim Bialik, who got the nighttime gig. Um... The people behind Trivial Pursuit attached their names to LeVar Burton. So he might be brought along with this project. And I would like to see him do well with it. I think he will do quite well. I didn't think he fit that well with Jeopardy. That might have been because of Mike... Definitely, probably definitely considered through Mike Richards meddling... 
But I think he will be fine on Trivial Pursuit. He's got the charm, he's got the wit, and he's got the personality to pull it off. Scrabble's going to be a different kettle of fish, though. Um, Justin Willman, who did the uh, Scrabble Showdown, I don't think he will be brought back. And that's probably for the better. I think he was the weakest part of that version. And we'll have to see what else happens. Um, so watch this space and find out what happens. Uh, when we get more news on these two shows, uh, we will bring you that news. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this little vlog here on Game Show Gumbo. Um, we will have more reviews come up in the future. And this weekend we will have a home game on the new Newlywed game, continuing our love theme that we have over the past couple of weeks. And the week after that, or on the week on the weekend video, will be a tier maker that I did with somebody who has appeared on this channel before. Uh, talking about a show that we mutually love. So look out for that. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care.